Hunter has hindered everyone since the beginning, regardless of their actions. But how was it that no one resisted the Hunter? Was it because of the Hunter's strength? Or has everyone simply yielded to the Hunter's dominance? Does the Hunter take pleasure in this game? Or to put it another way, is that the real purpose of this game? It is ironic that the emergence of the Hunter has forced this group of people, who had opposing interests in the beginning, to work together. I need to find out more about the situation. The information on the Hunter is key. I need to know what he wanted to do next. Technique, patterns, disposition traits, everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
to protect things that he didn't want others to touch or to trap those he intended to trap even if someone wanted to try their luck their location would surely be exposed because of the accompanying scream they would let out when pricked simple yet effective I think the hunter must have used a pair of iron gloves to avoid being pricked by the thorns
this scar. No. Uh, uh, uh. I need to rest a while. I'm exhausted. ago, I was found unconscious at the scene of a fire, due to an accident. I wasn't injured, but when I woke up I realized I had lost my memory. It was with the help of others that I learned I was a fairly well-known writer of detective stories, but I could not recall a single memory, even when reading the words that were written by my... Slowly, my body recovered, but my memory showed no sign of returning. Fortunately, memory loss didn't occur again after that incident, and I was simply content to live with this new identity. Things rarely turn out as one hopes. I was quickly discarded by the public since I could no longer write anything of significance. And the detective firm that I started wasn't getting any worthwhile cases. I gave up on myself and turned to drink. I began having these episodes. After drinking heavily, I would wake up the next day with cuts all over my body. Sometimes I would come to only to notice strange objects I would not normally use next to me. At first I chalked it up to alcohol-induced blackouts, but even after I sobered up, the situation persisted and there were no signs that the episodes would stop. It got worse and the blackouts lasted longer and longer. In the end, I realized the root of the problem, at least according to my neighbors. It wasn't memory loss, but another soul in my body that had awakened. I don't trust the other guy. Even now I don't know what he's done while I was asleep. But now... He suddenly appeared and said to me, trust yourself. Of course I trust myself, but not him. I need to prepare for the worst. If he really had something to do with this, I need to be able to prove my innocence. Who's gonna believe me when I say that two souls can exist in one body? This is not a time in history when people believe in things like witchcraft.
the bottom of this on my own and these diaries are the key Sometimes, investigating a case is like fumbling your way along a rough, dark path. No one knows what strange treasures will be dug up before the truth is revealed. This painting seems to be upside down. There seems to be something on the back of the painting. This mark. <laughs> 